Guys, this guy said I hit his assistant and I was kissing a girl all in the same 10 minutes. What a big fucking coincidence that is that the girl <laughs> I'm on is his ex-girlfriend that the girl that I'm swinging at in the club is his That's assistant. True. Oh, that reminds me. Where is Meg Zelly? Where is your assistant? I don't think she works for Team 10 anymore, does she? I know why. Do you guys know why? I don't know. Oh, shoot. Wait. <laughs> I totally forgot about her. Even me. I totally forgot about that girl. <clears throat> All right. Jake Paul and Rice Gum fighting it out. <laughs> Finally, um, Face Bank decided to get into the fight. And it's pretty interesting, I might say. All right, so um, Banks has his blog. Um, uh, it's a nice blog. He, he talks about that he went to Boston, and it's pretty cool. And all of that. I love you guys. And now, without further ado, and this it's nice that he went to see his family, and and Alyssa went with him. But we're gonna be concentrating on the on the Jake Paul, right? <laughs> um, at the end of the day, all the um the original video, I'm gonna leave it on the description below, so you just you guys could check it out if you kind of if you guys want to see the whole video, just check it out. I'm just going to be hitting a few spots that he talks about, a few key points like I did on my previous video. Don't forget to check that video out. This is some Jake Paul rice gum drama. Why do you feel the need to hop in and give your two cents? I'll tell you why. So I don't see this as rice gum versus Jake Paul drama. I see this as Jake firing shots at Clout Gang. He mentions us multiple, multiple times and clearly he just does not like us. He doesn't like me, obviously. Homie tried to ruin my fucking life. You guys already know. I'm going to get some more. <laughs> Homie trying to ruin my life. Um, bro, yes, he did. He did it as try to ruin you for everything you have. It's completely crazy that you could believe a person could do that, but. <laughs> with me. Doesn't like Alyssa for obvious reasons. And Rice clearly doesn't like Rice. Rice made <laughs> Obvious that reasons. In the whole situation, pretty much took an F. On the Meg Zelly assault accusations, I took a fat W, and he just does not. Us. Obviously, we're his opposition. We're doing things a little bit different than that. We're appealing to a completely different audience. So I don't know why he's tripping, but obviously he does not f with us. So I'm gonna do my best to defend my camp, my team. My in a way, if you do notice, um, in a way, Jake Paul does not f with them at all. Like literally at all, he doesn't. He doesn't. Even though they have, they know each other and they have talked before. Um, because every YouTuber um in Los Angeles probably knows each other. Every big YouTuber knows each other. At the end of the day, with um Chance and Anthony having trouble with Rice Gum, and then um uh, Jake Paul having trouble with Face Banks, and now Jake Paul having trouble with um Rice Gum is. I feel like this is some reality TV thing directly a copycat because he's saying whoever started up cloud gang which is your boy is a copycat they're copying team <laughs> Sam, blah, 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 blah. homie face clan est 2010 mm, your boy you was go. on it first i did it way before you fucking did it and the model that you're running is nothing that's new. true there's nothing proprietary or innovative about what you're doing it is smart but it's not fucking brand new so that point <laughs> done your boy did it before you did so if we're <laughs> you know it's true like why you caught um calling rice gum and the cloud gun cop Cloud can't copycats. If you're a copycat yourself, you copy on face ban, um, face clan, optic, uh, um, gaming, um, all these YouTube um, big groups that have come out. Team Ten is not a new group. Team Ten isn't the first group ever. You know, there's other groups that been before him, them, like 2010 face clan. Saw allegation thing. Obviously, like I said, I took a W on that. Everybody saw right through it. Oh shoot. <laughs> 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 And then Jake Paul and the subscribers, obviously. Happened, and their agenda through all of that was to fuck with my life and to ruin my life. Me and Jake sat down. We came to an agreement. He was supposed to make a video apologizing. I didn't know that. Hair. Never did that. Never one time did he say, you know, we were in the wrong. We fucked up. This didn't happen, which he agreed to do. And this whole time, I just put it to the side. Didn't really care. It's over with. People know I didn't do this shit. And that's really all I gave a fuck about. So I let Jake snake his way through that situation. You see, that's my problem, face. Like, bro, Banks, why would you let him snake out of this? Like, if he tried to ruin your life, you feel me? Like, why didn't you just try to do something that in a way he wouldn't be able to do 
do something like this again. Like he's doing it again. He's trying to destroy a YouTuber's life. Like he was trying to destroy Facebank's life. Now he's trying to destroy Ricegum's life. And letting him snake through his way out of this just gave him another chance to do this again. I mean, if it was me, I probably took some legal action, some lawyers making him write something so he would never do this again. I kind of just left it alone, but he busted open the can of worms, so I am forced to talk about this now. And again, obviously, bro, you're forced. The whole agenda that you gave off on the original Meg Zelly accusation of the assault shit for me. And now here we are again with a whole new situation. And you're giving off this whole vibe of like, this isn't about me. This is about something bigger. This is about changing the world. You know, this is about stopping internet bullies and suicide prevention. And here, look at the screen. And here, guys, look, I'm donating all this money to suicide prevention. Where have I fucking seen this before? Oh yeah, that's right. You guys pulled the same shit when you guys were trying True. to accuse me of doing all this whack shit. They did the same thing when they were accusing um, face banks, and now they do the same thing when they are accusing rice gum. It's like the same trend, like a little trend. Uh, same thing. What the hell was this? <laughs> Dude, like the manipulation is f***ing real, Jake. It really is. Anyone with half a brain knows that the reason why you made this video isn't to prevent bullying or isn't to support suicide prevention or any of that other shit. Now, don't get me wrong. Charities, you know, helping foundations like that and giving people money that need money and supporting causes that are, are positive and stuff, that shit is all great. And that's good that he notices that and that he says that because it's true. He likes to call people out in the same videos that he tries to make himself um, bigger than others and make himself seem like the nice guy. Number two was right in the midst of all this bullshit while all this shit's going down and Jake's getting the f***ing hammer laid down on him to divert from all this other shit. He flew down to Houston and helped out with the hurricane and made it very, very clear that he was doing that. Posted it all yeah. over social media, made sure the world knew that Jake was a great guy. And I don't... And, and, and in a way, this is a horrible thing to do. And many... It's like... Uh, it's like many of the times like what Trump does, like let's say Trump says something and then he realizes it, that he was not supposed to say that. And he realizes that that's something that could destroy his some um, ratings or what people think of him, of the American people are thinking his popular vote goes down, something like that. Then he just tries to deflect the idea and makes you think about something else instead of thinking of what he did. And he did that a lot in his campaign and in, in his stuff. <laughs> Jake Paul 101, uh, Trump 101, that's what he's basically doing. That's what he basically did. I don't think it was a coincidence that it happened exactly at the same time that the drama between me and him happened. Now here we are again, help suicide prevention. This whole video is going toward this, yada, yada, yada. Dog, you're not fooling anybody. Your shirt's not fucking fooling me. Maybe you're fooling the little kids that watch your videos. I don't fucking know. But you guys need to get the fuck woke because this shit is whack. Hey, like uh, you guys. If you didn't understand, get yourself woke, wake up, like realize what's going around you. Don't let this guy manipulate you the way that he's manipulating you. And it, it's annoying for a person to just keep manipulating little kids and mostly his demographic is kids, you know, and, and young kids are easily manipulated. If you see somebody that you admire and he's telling you something, you, you're going to believe it because you admire him. Guys, this guy said I hit his assistant and I was kissing a girl all in the same 10 minutes. What a big fucking coincidence that is that the girl I'm <laughs> on is his ex-girlfriend and the girl that I'm swinging at in the club is That's his assistant. True. Oh, that reminds me. Where is Meg Zelly? Where is your assistant? I don't think she works for Team 10 anymore, does she? I know why. Do you guys know why? I don't know. Oh, shoot. Wait. <laughs> I totally forgot about her. Even me. I totally forgot about that girl. Your friend is your friend. And I have hard evidence of you bashing people for their weight and doing shit that isn't cool. And Jake, I don't want to go there with you, but I f***ing will if I have to. Bottom line is, if we're talking about internet bullies, you are 20,000 times worse than Rice, period. Which brings me to my next point. So NJ, and you care a lot about subs. You didn't once try to remedy mine in your situation until you started losing a shit ton of subs. That's all you f***ing care about. When that happened, Jake, when you were sitting on the H3 podcast and you realized <laughs> what the f***, I'm dipping under 10 million subs, your he's heart like, was oh, racing. Shoot. I don't, don't know worry. about that. So he's just basically saying that he really just cares about money and subs. Like he doesn't care about anything else. Once he sees that he starts losing subs, he just tries to deflect the um, that and just makes people on um, see something else. Makes people 
distracted from what's already begun you know like he's in trouble but let's distract him with this your way out of that but i let you go jake i let you off the hook i didn't give a f i wanted people you to see know you that shouldn't you shouldn't my motivation is not money trust me jake you're not the only businessman on youtube i'm good i don't need to worry about f money that's not why he shouldn't have let him go i would not there's a tool to help me financially and to help all the other shit i'm involved with of course i'm gonna do that but my point is this is not my bread and butter this is not what i care most about i care a lot about the people who watch my videos and the impact and it's in a billion dollars like how much more in your face can you be about like really 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 craving money dog like we get it you have money go i got money too i bet you i got a lot more fucking money than you think i do and i bet you i'm involved in a lot more shit than you think i am i'm not putting that shit all over youtube because it has no it's true like, I have never seen face banks once. Maybe with... He never does the things that Jake Paul does like that. Like, showing off his money, you know? And, and I, like, I like a person like that. Okay, you have money, but... What's the reason to show it to people? Why? To make yourself, uh, yourself feel better in any, any way? It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. I, I like that face bank keeps it real, like, real no real like real shit nigga shit on youtube you put money and subs and power above all else above your friends above family even you had the whole of youtube questioning you and your brother's relationship because it was good for he, you because it put money in your pocket it, it goes put, your it put money in his pockets definitely i think things are f little ginger snap goody two shoes like you fucking make yourself out of <laughs> <laughs> my next blackmail this is a pretty serious allegation but it is no this is a serious allegation like he says supposedly logan and jake paul blackmail him is what it is when all this shit went down with rice i tweeted out and i said i really don't want to make another jake paul video i said some other shit but the gist of it was hey i'm thinking about making another jake paul video and jake sent me this big long text i'm not going to share this conversation but i'm going to give you guys the gist of it jake basically tried to get me against Alyssa, said some shit and i'm going to talk more about this it was basically just him saying yo listen I had it i know way too much about your girl i know way too much about you i know way too much about this shit to let this shit go on any further and i will blow the lid off everything That's and crazy. expose some shit if this shit goes any further his brother also told me don't push this any further take the l it's your best bet basically the whole vibe of this was yo don't make this video or i'm gonna fucking last all this shit what dude do your so that's crazy so jake paul and logan paul told him if he made this video that they were going to release some stuff on Alyssa and they're probably going to release stuff from him and just try to destroy them. I don't know how Logan Paul is involved in this, but technically he is. He's always freaking helping his brother and no matter what the hell he does, he's always backing him up. I bet if he kills a person, Jake uh, Logan Paul is going to be there supporting him like he didn't kill him. Worst, Jake. Everything you think you know that I don't know, I know. Trust me, homie. And all you're gonna do is prove everybody right that you're a <laughs> that you're douchebag. Scumbag. That's it. That's really all I have to say about that. I will gladly. Everything you think you know, I already know. Just say it. I'ma say it too. <laughs> this was basically he's saying. <laughs> clue what i'm talking about but i know logan's watching this and i know jake's watching this and i know you guys know what the f i'm talking about and there's a lot of shit there's a lot more shit than even they think that i know like i know things jake direct quote from jake i have way too much information on anybody and everybody in this youtube space jake i know a lot too and i know a lot more <laughs> than you think i do. yo this is crazy so basically they know stuff from each other and if each other makes a video of each other then each other are gonna be effed up each other are gonna die <laughs> So don't play that game with me. If you want to come out with a video and expose shit and expose your ex-girlfriend for shit and expose me for shit, do it. Do your worst, please. Because when it comes out, if it comes out, it's all coming out. So sit down and for once in your life, don't make it's all coming out. It's the true. Right Supposedly he treated her hard. I really am. <laughs> <laughs> she came to daddy. She came to daddy. This is, that's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. She came to daddy, my boy. 
I know you're everybody's daddy. I am f***ing dad, and I will son somebody if I have to. And this shit Ooh. keeps happening, and the center of it is Alyssa. <laughs> I don't think it's a f***ing coincidence that while I'm back home and Alyssa's meeting my family, all this shit pops off. You're a very emotional kid. The whole beginning of all this shit with the whole, it's every day, bro. <laughs> so he's trying to say that he made all this drama because he wanted to f up Alyssa and him being meeting his parents. <laughs> he's such an emotional kid. Dude, I'm dying inside. I'm just trying to keep it down and low. I don't want to freaking laugh too much. Fire shots at Alyssa for no reason someone who you looked at to be harmless and not a threat at all and she came over to the fucking dark side and she teamed up with rice through <laughs> she came over to the forest she i didn't even partake in the jokes about you guys you guys fired that first shot at me with the assault thing and i said it, gloves are off few people have come to me and said banks do you think jake is like still in love with Alyssa? do you think like he mm. loves her and he hates seeing you with her? yes honestly at this point i do i don't know if he loves her or anything but i don't think i don't think he likes me and her together at all i don't think yeah I probably think the same thing. Without him, he just doesn't like anything about it. It always comes back to her, and I'm fucking done with it, bro. That's my fucking girl. I deserve to have to be fucking happy. You fucked it up. I'm sorry. That is that. <laughs> Stop with me. Stop with my squad. I'm actually going right now, right after this video, to go talk to Jay. So this is basically he's trying to say one of the really big things that he's doing all of this stuff is because he hates seeing him and Alyssa together he hates seeing that Alyssa is still famous and still growing in fame and still has a lot of money still making money without him it's like it hurts him emotionally if he feels horrible that he didn't probably just bring her down he made her just even more famous in a way and this part right here he says that he's gonna go Talk to Jay? What the hell? With me, stop on my squad. I'm actually going right now, right after this video, to go talk to Jay. So this is gonna go one of two ways. We're gonna talk, Ooh, we're gonna figure this out. We're go. actually gonna come to some sort of agreement, negotiation, solution, whatever. Or it's not gonna work and YouTube is about to fucking explode. I'm ready for it, baby. Are you guys ready for it? I don't know. Nothing has <laughs> Yo, literally, face back, you're amazing, bro. Love your honesty always. Let's just see if this is gonna be another civil war on YouTube. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. I can't wait. Let's see what happens.